for millennia, like human beings, the grass and the trees have been at war for domination of the Earth's topsoil. For the last number of centuries, the grass have enjoyed a very successful alliance with the human beings. But in the era of climate change and rising CO2 levels, this is getting real. <laughs> I'm Aaron Freeman, an excitable ape with your daily dose of sciency optimism. We humans loves us some grasses. Lawn grass is the largest crop in the United States, above corn, another grass. The Human Grass Alliance has been a win-win for both sides. High fructose corn syrup has provided humans with so many calories that in many countries we have overweight poor people. We have felled countless acres of forest and replaced them with golf courses and parks and in some cases even artificial grass. I was recently on a cruise ship where they had grass at sea. But it turns out that grass and trees respond differently to rising temperatures and rising levels of carbon dioxide. To, as usual, grossly oversimplify, grasses and trees use two different carbon utilization pathways in order to create the glucose that they need to fuel their metabolic activities. Grasses use a fairly sophisticated, as blades of grass go, carbon pathway called C4 which allows them to utilize carbon in both low CO2 and low temperature environments, as well as in higher CO2 and temperature conditions. Trees, on the other hand, use the more primitive C3 pathway, which is not as flexible, but simpler, which can give trees an advantage when temperature and CO2 concentrations rise. Researchers found that in the pre-industrial age, savanna trees were essentially CO2 starved. But with industrialization and increased CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere, the trees may now have the upper hand. And grasslands may well be on their way to becoming forests. One lesson to be learned could be that the best laid schemes of grass and men can be overturned by the sky. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, beloved sibling. Your attention is at the root of my digital joy. I make new sciencey, optimistic videos every Monday through Friday. If you enjoy this one, I hope you will help me grow my channel by liking, subscribing to the YouTube channel, and sharing with someone you know who might themselves enjoy some sciencey optimism. I am Aaron Freeman. I am an excitable ape, and I hope you have a growing and blossomingly good time as you continue to science the day.